What's up guys, this is Transair3 coming to you again with another Transformers Combiner Wars review. And today we're taking a look at the final part to the Stunticons review is combining these guys into Menasaur. And like in the previous videos, I showed you their limb modes and their robot modes and all the good stuff that you can do with them. So, yeah, very cool. So, now said... You get all these extra weapons that I have no clue where you can put them. So you got... So we did Drag Strip was the first figure we did. Then we got Motormaster. And then we got Dead End. And then we got Breakdown. And we got Off-Road. So there's Drag Strip's weapon. Dead End's weapon. Off-road's weapon, and Breakdown's weapon. So you can set those weapons off to the side, like that. And you got the shield here for Blackjack, which all you need to do is just tab it in to the roof of the car. It doesn't matter which way Blackjack goes, but sometimes it would help to have them this way. But, eh, personal preference. So put that on him, he's good to go. Set him off to the side. And Motor Master Sword is in two pieces. You combine them into the sword, which I already have, like so. Set that off to the side. Now, we got Motor Master himself here in the torso mode already. First one up is Breakdown. Just a combiner slot, just like Primes. Slot it in. Like that, and it'll lock into place. Then you can get the foot situation wherever you want it. Like that. And we come to off road, do the same thing here, locks into place. Like so. There we got. Adjust my camera for you guys. He's getting big. And you grab dead end here. And you slot him down. Like so. Without untabbing his Menasaur's back arm. Then if you want, you can rotate this fist over to lock that into place. You can flip that back if you want. So we got an arm done. So. And we grab drag strip. Do the same thing. Lock it into place. Forgive me if you can't see it on camera. Does the same thing. Lock that fist into place there. Get him back here against my wall here. Like so. And you grab Blackjack. The two. You got the ports here. And you got the tabs on his chest. He just slots right in. Really not a secure fit. But he stays in there just okay. As long as you're not jiggling him around. So now we have the combined form of Menasaur. Give him his sword. Like so. Now we have Menasaur in his combined mode, which is pretty cool. I really dig this figure. There is a way you can do with the do with the legs. You can switch them out, unpeg peg these panels here, and try to give them a better looking stance instead of looking like a. So you can do something like that. So, enough said. So, yeah, very cool figure. So, you got the knee joint on both sides. So, you got the arm joints. Very nice clicking joints. You got the elbow joint here for drag strip. Same thing with dead end. Very nice clicky joints. 
So yeah, very cool. Very cool indeed. So we'll set him back here like so. Try to get a good view on him for you guys. Gotta adjust my camera. This guy is huge. Now for size comparison, might as well bring in Combiner Superior. Which is missing his arm still. So, again, what could you do? So he's a bit low taller than him since I did the leg rearrangement, which makes him look cool. And superior, I like the way his legs stand. So you can give him a little knee joint bend. And why not? Let me grab Armada Megatron. See how he pairs up with him? Very cool. And for the heck of it, let's bring in third party Orion. Just because. And Land Cross. <sighs> My KO Land Cross. Gotta love it. And if you really, really want for size scale wise mini console team <sighs> so yeah very cool or you can have him stomp on the little Optimus Prime that I just recently got if you followed me on Instagram always sharing that good stuff so yeah very cool figure. You can always change these guys out if you really want. Some people will be like, oh, why would you put a Decepticon combiner figure on an Autobot figure? Well, it's called Scramble City, man. So, you can switch his arm over to another, another part if you really want. So, if you guys really don't like that chest piece, just take it off. Close this up. Because on the packaging, this is how they show Menasaur. So. Eh. Whatever you guys want to do. You still got that cool looking chest design. Kind of reminds you of Transformers Age of Extinction Galvatron's chest. Which is pretty cool. So. Enough said. So. Yeah, very cool figure i highly recommend it 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 takes a while for you to try to find all limbs it it's worth it so hopefully they uh get an add-on kit for this guy to make him stand and pose a little bit better but this guy here is very worth getting i really highly recommend it so that's all i could say with this guy but very cool detailed looking figure very nice indeed so, all I can say about this huge figure, <laughs> he is huge. So, so, you know, said so. This is Trains Aaron 38 reviewing the Combiner Wars complete set of Menasaur. So, enough said. So, this is Trains Aaron 38 talked again. Don't forget to rate and subscribe and comment. On any videos that I do. Keep a lookout for any new videos headed your way. Also, check me out on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff. Also, don't forget to check out Kyle Pigeon 8, Prime John 1, and a gaming PC. And also, Mike Mouse 74. All those links will be down in the description below. So that's all I can say about this awesome figure. So this is Trans Aaron 3. Talk to you again. Have an awesome day.